the 1.21 Tricky Trials update is out now, so in this video, it's time for us to determine if this update was good, bad, or in between. So, we're going to get into all of the specifics and details of it now. So, this update was initially when revealed at Minecraft Live. Exciting, we didn't see much of it at that time, but... The prospect of seeing a combat update, a combat adventure update, new dungeons, new hostile mobs that you're actually meant to fight finally, was exciting for a lot of players, myself included. And so, as the update progressed through sh snapshot season, and we saw new things like the vault for multiplayer, then the ominous trials, the mace it made the update a lot better from what we saw but it did still remain as just the trial chambers in the crafter but the trial chambers got enhanced a lot as one experience there was so much content compacted into just that one feature in structure which was very different from what mojang's been doing in the past they usually have multiple experiences per update that kind of come together to create this one larger overhaul experience. Like with the Nether update, the big overhaul of the Nether, and you had multiple experiences within that, like discovering each new biome, finding a bastion and looting it, bartering with piglins for the first time. You had all of these things, and the same goes for Update Aquatic, uh, Village and Pillage, and if you count all of the parts of Caves and Cliffs. And they tried to do that with Trails and Tales, but it did end up feeling a bit disjointed in the end. So, seemingly what Mojang just did here was give up on that idea altogether of those multiple t experiences tying together and instead decide to kind of put all their eggs in one basket and put everything, go all in on the trial chambers, just that one feature. And so the result was a very complex and intriguing structure with a lot of very cool new mechanics to it. So the trial chambers themselves are really good. I loved the focus on finally the combat and fantasy side of the game again after all of these years it has felt so neglected as i've talked about in some past videos to see mojang finally coming back to that was a great refresher and having these new things for dungeons this new giant dungeon with all of these complex parts is really cool having the trial spawner to make it scale to players and the vaults for each player i do like the this being built better for multiplayer though it's not something that is going to affect everyone of course but still it was a step in the right direction back towards this long neglected side of minecraft that from what i can tell in the community many people seem to prefer right people like this kind of fantasy side of minecraft and it's something that mojang has kind of been heavily neglecting in a lot of the recent years but to see them gain back into that now is definitely a great thing that being said while the trial chambers are all about you know fun combat experiences with this being a combat adventure update there was one fatal flaw that kind of held this update back from being absolutely incredible. See, it the best way I can describe this is like Mojang tried to build a skyscraper with the trial chambers and all of these cool new things for combat experiences. But the foundations that they were building upon were so weak that it greatly damaged the experience in the end. Those foundations that I'm referring to here are, of course, the combat system itself, if you could even call it a system at all. 
See, upon the initial reveal of this update back at Minecraft Live 2023, the probably most heavily requested thing to be added in this update was an update to the combat itself. That and the copper golem, of course, that didn't happen either. But this was so heavily requested by the community. It seemed basically everyone wanted it. I, Out of the thousands of opinions that I saw voiced over these months, I did not see one, not one person against a combat update. So why didn't Mojang decide to focus more of their time on that? And that's a very good question that I honestly can't tell you the answer to. That likely they were just afraid of community backlash, which is kind of fair that, that there are people in the Minecraft community who get upset over very small changes. I could understand why they'd be worried about backlash from a whole combat overhaul. But still, if it was a good overhaul and in the end was better for the game, that's what they should have done. See, the current combat in Minecraft is just... It's stale and kind of unengaging. And it just looks bad, too. Kind of boring. Almost too basic. Not Combat systems don't need to be complex. Neither do they really need to be flashy, but in the case of Minecraft's combat, it would benefit greatly from maybe a bit more realism with the whole attacks and everything, and a bit having it look a bit better, just in general, having it be a bit more flashy, so to speak. Because right now, of course, it's just tap on your enemy <laughs> and then your sword does a little fling animation towards them and that that's it. it right it's not entertaining and that's supposed to be the whole purpose of the game and at the end of the day really and then that's not even getting into bedrock combat oh, i'm not gonna even talk about that but the mesa did increase the need for parity between java and bedrock because it's like a headline feature of this update with it being the big reward from the trial chambers the update would have benefited greatly from obviously a combat update making it look you know a bit more realistic and make i want to say you know in the trailer how they portrayed the combat as basically realistic. They made it look exciting and with movement and everything, right? Invigorating. That's what the combat in game should be. That's what it should feel like to make things fresh, to make the player feel alive. But it just doesn't have any of that. Which, again, could have been fixed in this update. If not in this update, I don't know when they will. Right? Because this was a combat adventure update. And you can't really have good combat adventures if you don't have good combat in the first place. Anyway, with the mace being so slow hitting on Java, that made it basically a completely different weapon play style on Bedrock than it is on Java. So that was just a, another kind of tricky thing. So the lack of that combat update did drag 1.21 a bit heavily down. That and also the trial chambers being the basically only focus of this update could have used some more unique loot to them aside from like the mace and the wind charge. I don't mean decorative stuff, I mean functional stuff, right? In a dungeon update, you would expect to see all kinds of unique loot. Obviously, you know, there's only so much Mojang can do with the whole one-year update schedule thing. And still, though, 
having only really two functional things to motivate you to go to the trial chambers because the entire update is basically the trial chambers it would have been nice to give a bit more motivation for the players to go to the trial chambers in the first place more than just the wind charge and the mace that being said those two items are great they're unique so I'm glad to have them in the first place at least and then the third sort of flaw here was just a side thing it didn't really detract from the update in the end but more of a broken sort of promise at the reveal of this update it was promoted as or promised to be a combat adventure and tinkering update and we just didn't see the tinkering side leaned in on at all by Mojang. They neglected it completely, basically. At the reveal, we had the crafter and the copper bulb, and, well, that's all we really ever had. It, nothing new for tinkering was added, except you could count the wind charge, maybe, I suppose, since that does activate redstone signals, but... It is definitely somewhere where the copper golem would have fit in quite nicely with that being all about, you know, pressing buttons and everything for redstone contraptions. It would have fit really well within the update. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about the copper golem anymore. What we did get, though, was very good features, a very polished structure with the breeze a very polished mob finally right having a unique <laughs> mob drop after all this time was so nice we have not had like unique mob drops in so long so i was really glad to see that and have that mob drop be actually useful and be used for actually cool functional items right that's the kind of stuff i've been wanting to see and that is what people seem to be happy with so i don't know why mojang had kind of been neglecting that with past updates but to see them get back into that is definitely a good sign especially going forward for what we hope is an end update right hopefully anyway in the end 1.21 is a good update held back from being incredible by just really that one fatal flaw and then the two smaller ones still even without the getting the actual combat update it was relatively impressive i the trial chambers are definitely unlike anything we've seen before in minecraft really and to have them lined up to the old dungeon is just insane to show how far the game has truly come so good update i i obviously not as good as like the nether update or whatever because this update wasn't necessary like that was right like the nether update we really needed that to overhaul an existing part of the game this just introduced something entirely new out of the random basically but still nonetheless something very cool and i'm glad we got so good update i'd say better than the wild update and trails and tails at least and in the end I'm pretty happy with it. If there was two things I could change. One, Copper Golem. Two, add a combat update. But aside from that, good update. I, I don't know, 8 out of 10. Hopefully, we'll see more stuff like this in the future with Minecraft updates. That is what I'm hoping for here. Now, goodbye. I hope to see you in the next one.